Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TNG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Le Mans Ultimate with the new DLC dropping on the 23rd of July. It's going to get interesting, but there is some pros and some cons, so um, yeah, we're going to talk about it. So let's get stuck into the video. Look, first I'm going to react to the DLC, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Obviously I've muted it because I don't want to get any copyrights, but we're going to have a little look at the trailer. I'll pause it at the bits that I need to. So this is the new Peugeot 2024. Um... I believe we're gonna get the uh the new lamborghini as well don't know if the cars are gonna be balanced probably not if we're going off of the real the real world which i don't mind that but um there is some things i'm going to talk about in terms of pricing and stuff like that um again for me I, I believe these two things are free plus the imola circuit i think those things are free um and then we should be getting more stuff later on down the line that's one of four packs apparently um so let's pause that there set because i didn't quite catch how many tracks that was go back so we're gonna get four packs four circuits seven gt3 cars and four hyper cars now um that's that's a decent amount of content that's a decent amount of content that's 14 different pieces of content right there we're gonna get tracks and cars again i can probably surmise the tracks are gonna be whatever is on the calendar this year i think it's interlagos uh imola quatar and what's the other track um kota so i believe those will be the four tracks that we'll be getting i would like to see a bit more of a, a roadmap so we actually know these these dates so we can you know we can we can build up to it because there is a lot of things that some people find questionable man and to be honest look i went in on Rensport the other day i gotta keep the same energy even though i do like the mons ultima i have to keep the same energy bro it, it's not advisable to be selling dlc when the full game's not out that, that's all i'm saying <laughs> all right a lot of people find that to be a little bit a little bit funny now for me personally i think it's actually good value for money 36.99 for 14 pieces of content four packs that's decent for the season pass me personally i think that's decent if we was to weigh up all the prices and stuff of all the packs we've bought in acc i believe the, these prices are pretty well constructed it's definitely not what we saw on ren sport with you know 55.99 for a, a, a couple of car tokens a couple of liveries in your name at the side of the track that to me that that's terrible that that is hustling this however i believe it is value for money but still there's a lot of things that we sort of that should be right at the front of their agenda in terms of what the game needs me personally um you need online man you need online so it's so critical because that is the bread and butter of your community right it's all well and good having these ranked races and all this stuff i like the ranked races they're cool but what happens if there's a track and car combination that you don't like then you're stuck with it for the whole week and there's literally nothing else you can do unless you want to drive against the ai you want to be racing ai for a week that's up to you me personally i'm a little too competitive for that i would find it boring um i need competitive races now even if you look at acc let's say there's a bad track and car combination for for lfm let's say let's say it's like Alton Park and then you've got one car that's just way faster than everything else but that week you think oh you know what I'm not doing LFM but you still have other avenues to enjoy yourself you can you can be part of different leagues you can jump online and just go into random lobbies you don't have to really be stuck with LFM if you don't want to be with LMU it's like you're kind of just stuck bro like if if you're doing a track and car combination you don't like for the week you're just stuck you know and that's why they need to be focusing on getting multiplayer out you're bringing out dlc but you ain't got no multiplayer not properly anyway so i would focus on that um again is it advisable to be bringing out dlcs before the full game is out i don't know for me personally i just think like we, like 2024 is a, a good year for sim racing bro so it's like you know you don't have as a, as a racing company right now bringing out games you don't have a lot of chances because we've got uh, a set of course at evo around the corner and 
people will wait it out. People will say, ah, oh, no, I'm not buying this. I'll just wait for, I'll wait for um, a set of course of Evo. You know, so you kind of have to be putting your best foot forward. I know it's a bit of supply and demand. I know these companies, they need the money. Like, everyone needs the money. I get it. I do. But at the same time, like, sim racers are not in a position where we're struggling right now. Like, we got options. <laughs> All right? We got options. We don't, we don't have to settle for, for anything less right now. You know, there's no real rush to get off of ACC. Um, people that have already, you know, embedded themselves into iRacing, they're probably never going to leave. And we know we're getting a set of course at Evo, so we don't have to settle for any sort of, you know, money grabs or anything like that. And I don't think this is particularly a money grab, but I do feel like there's there's not a lot of information. All right, what's coming next? What's the, the roadmap saying? When ACC first came out, there was a roadmap, right? We knew what dates and what was coming for the foreseeable future, you know? I know eventually when the game came out, they kind of stopped doing that. I don't know why they did, but there was a roadmap. We knew exactly what to look forward to. And with this, it's kind of like we're going to get some stuff in the future. All right, when? <laughs> when? You know, and then at least you can say, all right, well, I'm going to get on this game. I want to practice for when the GT3 come, GT3s come out. I want to be on the game. I want to be up to speed. And at least that way you kind of know, you know, they're probably going to have to spread it out. But that's all well and good. But by the time a lot of these things come out, if there's no online, bro, it's going to be so hard to garner an audience to, to jump back on when you've got a set of course of Evo around the corner. Once people jump on that game, I'm telling you, it's going to be so hard to get them off. And that's the issue for a lot of these, you know, Ren Sport and LMU coming right now, kind of not half hearted, but they're not all the way. It's not all the way done. So they're just leaving a massive space for Kunos to come and sweep in again and, and, and take and take the majority of, you know, the the casuals, the people who are in limbo, don't know what to do. You know, um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about the whole the pricing situation? I know a lot of people are not really happy with, you know, the fact they're having to pay for things before the game's out. You know because technically we, we pay for the beta and then we're going to pay for dlc so in total it's like what we're spending 50 odd quid um but you know the game's got potential bro the game's got potential you see like pack one out on the 23rd okay what's the date of pack two when can we expect that pack three pack four when we, when can we expect these things to be implemented when can we expect online to be implemented we need the roadmap. We need to know because that way it, it kind of it keeps your hype up. When you feel like you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and you kind of just you forget, you know, when, when ACC first dropped, the thing about ACC is its timing was perfect because it was at the end of the cycle of Project Cars 2. There was nothing else to play, literally nothing. So when they bought the beta route, it was perfect timing. There was no competition. There was no other like sim racing game that was coming out around the same time to take people's attention away. So they had the market all to themselves. And for what? How long did it take the game to actually come out? I remember I was playing ACC in 2018. You know, I can't even remember the date it actually came out, but I remember there was a roadmap and we kind of knew what was coming next. So we were getting like a, a car. Was it a car a week? Like one car a week or one car a day and then multiplayer came and then it was just it was just cool because there was nothing else to, to sway us and we could just play the game because there was nothing else to do but it's a bit different with these games where they're gonna have a lot of competition so they need to make sure they're getting things right and i actually believe in lmu as a game i feel like it's got so much things going for it and there's probably not even that many people playing it but it trust me it has a good, good basis of a game, man. It reminds me a lot of ACC. I could tell ACC had a lot of potential. They just needed to fix a few things. It's exactly the same with LMU, but they need to do it quick because I don't believe people are going to have the, the time or the patience to wait around. You know, remember that was the whole COVID era. So there was nothing but waiting around back then. Now the patience is not going to be the same and they need to make sure they nail the timing, need to make sure the time is perfect. I don't think they should wait too long to bring the GT3s out. 
um, the new tracks and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to do it. But all I do know is they can't mess it up. You know, don't keep adding these these things that we have to pay for all the time without having like a multiplayer and stuff like that because your core audience will be gone. All right? So hopefully, man, hopefully they get it right. I don't know what you guys think personally. The DLC looks to be great. I, I like the tracks that they're going to bring. I've sort of, well, it's not a guarantee what the tracks they're going to bring, what I said uh, in before in the video. But if I'm looking at the 2024 calendar, then I would think it will be Interlagos, Kota, Imola, and Quatar, which is cool. Some nice tracks. Um, I'll be happy with that. And we shall see, man. We shall see. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Cryptic TNG. And I'm out. Peace.